Namaste. Hello, my relatives, allies. My name is Pearl Danette Clamines. I come from the Salt Clan of New Mexico. I walked at the side of Russell Means as his wife and partner for the past 14 years. It's a real pleasure to be back up here in Lakota country. We just came from Crowdog, Chief Leonard Crowdog's annual Sundance, where he had a beautiful honoring for my husband and a lot of good words, a lot of prayers. Uh, it really made me feel strong. We uh, concluded my late husband's annual Sundance, New Moon in June, in his sacred holy land. Today is a good day in Lakota country, as my husband often said. Um, I want to share with you some of the projects that we're working on in honor of uh, Russell Means, his work, his legacy. One of them is getting out to the public his last book, if you've forgotten the names of the clouds, you've lost your way. It's a handbook on American Indian thought and philosophy. I really feel honored that he chose to put this in book form. It was a compilation of stories, experiences that he acquired over his lifetime. As the eldest in a family of four boys, he had the opportunity and the privilege to have stories from his grandpa John, his grandma Aggie, his mother, his aunties um, sh that were shared with him. And it was his responsibility to pass that on to his younger brothers. Unfortunately, due to successful colonization, he didn't know that, we didn't know that. And so it was one of the last things that he did, wanting to get this information out to not only his people, the Lakota, but for humanity. It speaks to the seven sacred ceremonies that white buffalo calf woman brought to the Lakota people when they received their spiritual direction, as well as many, many stories and information with regard to our unique worldview as 98% of us as indigenous peoples come from a matrilineal system. And that explains why the European, when they first came to our continent, our homeland, they described it as a paradise because we lived in balance. And that's what matrilineal systems ensures is that you celebrate the differences between the species, between the sexes, between uh, all of life, and we look to all of life as our teachers. And with that worldview, you're never going to take more than you need from our grandmother, the earth, and we, therefore we can all live in harmony and in balance. So this book can be bought on Amazon.com, BarnesandNobles.com, any other bookstore online. I'm also working on a Russell Means documentary. The working title is Thunder on the Plains. I'm working in conjunction with Russell's longtime writing partner, Byron Johnson. And over the course of the past nine months since Russell's transition to the next world, we, the family, determined we'd like to offer four honorings so that the people can come together to mourn, to, to celebrate his life with us. And we just concluded the third honoring at his annual Sundance at Wind Cave, the Pahasapa, the Lakota's sacred holy land, the Black Hills. And we were very privileged, we were very honored, we were very humbled by the ceremony. And Russell manifested to us with many, many beautiful, powerful messages. And we, we walked away with renewed strength, and we are now working toward the fourth honoring that will be held in Denver, Colorado, November 7th through the 10th. November 10th being the birth date of Russell Means. 
We have a uh, two-day academic indigenous policy symposium scheduled at the University of Colorado at Denver. We have an art show. Russell was a, a prolific artist. He was a visionary. He was a historian. And one of his exhibits that I would like to take as a traveling, on a traveling exhibit, is what he called the Indian Killer Series. He selected 12 alleged American heroes and did portraits with narratives as to who they really were. We will feature that series. We will also uh, work with the International Denver Film Festival for venues for a couple of Russell's movies, one being the last movie he did was filmed in Connecticut, May 2012. We're also looking at showing Black Cloud. Uh, Russell had a really beautiful, prominent role in the coming of age movie of a young Indian man as a boxer, and Russell's character was a uh, coach and uh, a mentor. We're also offering um, a fundraising evening, a gala. We, um, we have yet to secure the location, but it'll be a, a lovely event with indigenous foods, entertainment, a silent auction, and the fundraiser will benefit the Russell Means Library um, that will be constructed here in Lakota country on his ranch in Porcupine, South Dakota. The fourth and final day on November 10th will be an open honoring to the public at large. So I invite you, I encourage you to come and, and celebrate this man and his work and his life and his legacy. You can also check with our website, which is Russell with two S's, two L's, means honoring hyphen denver.com to follow the progress, the updates, and more details. I thank you from the bottom of my heart for your prayers, your, your messages that have come to us, not only since his crossing, but during his cancer fight. It brought him great comfort. I made certain that many of these messages were, were read to him, and he felt very, very honored that he heard some of these messages while he was still with us in this world. So I thank you. Um, as Russell often said, may the great mystery continue to guide and direct the paths of you and your loved ones. Thank you.